and welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you two new Marvel Legends characters and um, figures and they are dun, 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 from yes. the What If series. Yes, this is two new ones from the What If series. So it's these are actually from the same episode. Okay. So you have it's from the T'Challa What If T'Challa was Star Lord um, episode. So you have Nebula and of course T'Challa. Okay, and why is she called Heist? Do we know? Because they're they're trying to steal something from the collector. Oh, in the okay. Episode. So they're making it known that this is obviously from this series and this this particular nebula from this series. Let's go ahead and take a look at her in box. So there she is. So typically she has no hair. Yeah. In the movies. Yeah, this is definitely a different look for her. She's got um, some long blonde hair here. And a different, um, like a, you know, like a like the personality change, like you know, uh -huh. in, in the. MCU, you know, she's very, um, Robotic? I don't want to say emotionless, mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah. Um, but in this, um, she's much different, so. That's cool. It was cool. a cool take on the character. That makes me want to watch it. I know you have. Um, looks like she comes with a weapon, an extra set of hands, um, one fist hand and one open hand. She has one open hand on here and one even more open with the fingers extended. Um, and then is this someone's cape? Yes, they okay. are part of the Watcher Build a Figure Ooh, oops, set. So we are trying to collect to build the Watcher. Ooh. And he's a key part of the, the whole series. So we've previously done a video with the Zombie Captain America and the Zombie Hunter Spidey. And so now we have these two and we have the other ones for future videos. So stay, stay tuned. tuned. Yep. We're going to build us a Watcher, yes. right? Is uh, It is the Watcher, right? Mm -hmm. is that? Okay. All right, and then um, looks like she's got um, purple background as well as he does. So um, anyway, there she is in box of scene. Oh, okay. Here we go. So it has a little bit of tech savvy and brave. Nebula um, is an intergalactic opportunist who is ready for adventure. Wow, that's a mouthful. Yes. <laughs> so she's ready for adventure. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, T'Challa. I have a hard time saying his name. <laughs> and, um, one thing that I was I was really shocked, um, but pleasantly surprised, um, because I thought whoever they did to get the for the voice acting for mm -hmm. this did an excellent job. But I actually looked at the credits, and this is actually Chadwick Boseman doing the voice. So oh wow! So this is probably the last thing he was able to do. Oh, um, that's as nice. T'Challa. Um, that's nice that he was actually able to do this. And then um, there's his double blasters. As it's just like Star Lord, and he's got his mask here. Here's the Watcher head. Yeah, that's not an extra Super head creepy. for him. <laughs> <laughs> I said it looks like a big baby head. Um, and then on the back it says, T'Challa grew up in space and became Star Lord, now leading adventures throughout the galaxy. So that's I, you know, in this particular adventure. Right. So there you have it. All right, and of course these are by Hasbro. So we are going to go ahead and get them out of their packaging and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. Alright, and there they are, out of their boxes. And boy, do we have some Build-A-Figure pieces. <laughs> um, so she comes with quite a few. Just want to show yeah, them off came real with, quick. she came with a bunch of pieces. Yes. There like was hidden pieces full, among, among pieces. So she came with this. It came like this with this piece on top of here, right? Yeah. And then, um, so you get this piece, which is like the upper torso. You get this piece, which is obviously going to be the body, a yeah, cape like that robe, goes over yeah. his body. Here's his um, abs and um, basically his hips. Um, and then this piece is going to fit um, here. Yeah, to make like the back of his robe. Right. So he's going to have a lot going on. So that's all the pieces that come with um, Heist Nebula. And then... Chala has this one. The head. Um, so there you go. I almost want to draw him on some eyes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and start off with Nebula, I guess. Okay. All right. So I have her with her pulling it out, like pulling yeah, her weapon cool. out of her. Like, wait a minute, did I hear something? So um, her weapon does fit, I call it Tootsie Roll. It just is such the color of a Tootsie Roll. Yeah. So she's got her Tootsie Roll weapon. Um, and then, um, so she's got the brown coming through here with the, um, collar and everything that ties in her, like, waist, um, her holster and her boots are the same color, um, as well as the lavender and the, um, and the blue skin. So let's take a look at her facial sculpt. You can see a little 
bit of eyeball, but this hair is not, it's not like super rubbery. So you're not going to be able to move that out of the way to see that if for some reason like it's bothering me that I can only see one of her <laughs> eyes. But anyway, but she does have really awesome hair and it is flipped up there. I just kind of wish, and I'm sure it's like that in the show, but if you're a symmetrical person, that might be your issue like me. But anyway, the facial sculpt is awesome. Yeah. Really, really cool. Um, and then, of course, you know, she can even still move her head about with that hair. Um, and then I put on this hand, took off the other one, just because the other one was more open. This will be the hand and this one that she will need to hold the weapon. The other one is a closed fist, like this, and um, like that. And then the other one is the hand that came on there, which is more of a, um, you know, reaching out. Right. To help someone hand, but not really gripping on something hand. Um, so there you have it. And this is what our Tootsie Roll weapon looks like up close. And um, it will fit right there in the holster. And her boots are super cool. All right, take it away, John. All right, so let's take a look at her articulation. So let's see. So the head, she can go back and forth. Um, she can look down to a certain extent. Obviously, the hairstyle is going to keep her from looking up. She can kind of look a little kind of quizzically. Um, she can go full T at the shoulders, and they will also rotate. Um, she does have a single elbow. Uh, well, actually, she has two, one on each side, but she has a single elbow <laughs> joint. Um, she has the wrist, and the wrists will bend as well as twist, so that's cool. Um, she has the like mid torso as well as the waist articulation. That's very smooth. Yeah, she's got um, good hip articulation. She's got the mid or the upper thigh, the double knee, and of course the ankle. So very cool. So she should, uh, and the ankle will roll. Ooh, that looks painful <laughs> um, as well as Ben so very cool she should be able to get into some good poses and like you said the, it's a really good sculpt on her all right and now we'll take a look at T'Challa hey I'm learning to say his yeah. name okay oh I wanted to show um, this other so here's the Star Lord mask that comes with him the eyes are purple instead of I think they're red that for, is cool um, and then of course this is his hair right yeah um, so it's different in that regard as well, but the same basic shape. Um, very cool. I think is Star Lord's silver here. I I have I'm having trouble remembering the exact can't colors. Remember. But uh, yeah, looks really cool. And so you would just take off the head, and this would be the head um, for that. All right. So let's take a look at the facial sculpt. Very cool. The paint job looks really cool. Um, I like the details up here on his jacket and his collar is flared. He's cool. Yeah. Cool dude. Well, it's cool the way they kind of designed it to where it's like kind of a combination. You know, I mean, it's got like the Star Lord uniform, mm -hmm. like like you know Peter Quill had in the movies, but it's definitely got that like Black Panther like flare with the little gold. Yeah. Oh yeah. Embellishments and stuff. And so. with the colors and stuff. Yeah. So very cool. Um, and there's his hair. Um, coming to the back of there, so his hair is kind of kind of short back there, of course. Um, and then he's got the gray. He's got some detailing here, um, and then his shoes are um, or his boots are brown with some gray detailing on the shoe part of the boot. Um, so there you have it. I think his his weapon looks pretty cool. He only comes with uh, one set of hands, right? Yeah. But he does have two weapons. So there you go. Take it away. All right, so he's probably going to have very similar um, articulation points, but let's take a look. So the head, of course, back and forth. Um, he can obviously has he doesn't have the hair, so he actually has much greater range of motion. He can look down, look up, look to the side. Um, shoulders. shoulders are the same. Got the butterfly with the full T. Got the um, upper. Well, now she didn't have the. Uh, so he has additional points with the, the bicep swivel. Um, he has a double elbow uh, rather than the single. And same 
uh, same points of articulation at the at the wrist. So then he also has the like mid torso, so he can crunch and rear back. Uh, the waist, uh, great range of motion at the hips. Um, the upper thigh, the double knee, and the ankle. Now the ankle is a little different on this one, um, so it makes me a little leery because it, it doesn't look like it goes. Uh, doesn't you know? Like when you look at it, it looks like I'm like I don't want to force it because I'm afraid I'm going to break it. But it looks like it stops here. Like there's a gap. Um, but you know it will go backwards, but it doesn't feel like it goes quite. Yeah. Quite forward, and we don't so. know if it's our specific figure. Yeah, it could just or be a. Um, if all the this one, but, figures will be like that, he's still able to stand and everything. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, but, we we were able to get him to stand, and posing will probably be a lot of fun. So yeah, you might just need to lean him a little bit forward or whatever. But uh, he's awesome. Yes. All right, so there's T'Challa, as Star Lord and Heist Nebula. They look pretty awesome. Yeah. And stay tuned because, like we said, we have the other figures of this set, and we will be. Building. Building Watu the yeah. Watcher. Yes. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.